What is on today guys, Mad Matt in this video. Today we'll be covering the brand new Call of Duty Ghost Micro DLC. First up we'll be covering the Resistance Squad Pack and second we'll be covering the Flags of the World Pack. This did launch on Xbox on the 3rd of June and will be coming to PlayStation and PC users in about a month's time so stay tuned for that. But now let's hop straight into it. First up we do have the Resistance Hat Trick which is pretty awesome, it's like a hockey kind of mask. Second up, we do have the Resistance Brain Bucket, which is like an old school kind of World War II helmet with a mesh kind of front. And last one we do have is the Patriot, Resistance Patriot, which is an awesome American flag with that kind of hoodie on, which is pretty cool. It's one of my favorite one at all of them. Now moving on to the uniforms, the first uniform we do get is the Resistance Assault. And all these uniforms are pretty much alike. There's just a few extra bits and pieces added here and there. So the second one we do get is the Resistance Heavy, as you can see there, with an extra backpack and some more bullets. Moving on, we do have the Resistance Scout, as you can see there, it's got part of a ghillie suit on top of half of his body. Now the Resistance Tactician is pretty plain, not much on that, it's probably the most plain out of all of them. Now, as you can see here, we do have the DLC patches for the flags of the World Pack. Um, I'm just quickly going through all of them, as you can see there. There is a few countries that are missing, obviously, but these are the majority of them. Now we'll be hopping in to the Flags of the World camo in person as you can see there. It does look pretty awesome. This is probably one of my top favorite camos out of all the camos we have received in the DLC packs. Um, as you can see there on um, a light machine gun as I've said previously, it does showcase the camo um, probably better than all the other weapons because it does cover more of the camo on the weapon. Now moving on we do have the reticle as you can see on screen there. Um, it is pretty big and it does take up a lot of the sight which is um, a bad thing because it, it is harder to aim down but in the middle of the reticle there is a red dot sight which does make it a bit easier but personally I don't really um, recommend using this sight. I'd rather stick to the um, plain just normal red dot sight. As we can see there we did see it on a shotgun and now we do see it on the USR sniper because the USR Sniper does showcase um, a lot of the camos really well. But on the Flags camo, it does cut most of it out, as you can see there. So that does wrap up the video today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you'll be picking up the brand new Micro DLC. And if you've already picked it up, let me know what you think of it. So make sure to leave a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. And subscribe for more videos. I'll be covering the brand new Micro DLC maps in live gameplays. And I'll also be covering the Golden PDW and the Golden Knife in a separate DLC video as well. So stay tuned for those. But here's another two videos on screen if you haven't seen them yet. I do have my latest Favela gameplay video. And I also do have my latest Reinforced video as well. So make sure to check both of those videos out. It has been Mad Matt. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.